Alrighty, hello gamers, DBC Gaming, welcome back to my pop goes. I got a star. That's great. Um, if you see days, challenges, games. I'm missing one. I got basically almost everything. Um Oh what the hell did I just find? Wait a minute. Cutscenes, the intro, the ending. I got nothing left. Because I don't have the secret ending yet. All my achievements. I got a lot of achievements. Uh, character bios. Bonnie Glade, 2008. Young Bonnie Glade opens her present on their 10th birthday in a homemade LCD toy created by her father named My Pop Goes. The toy features a mini Freddy Fazbear and compact recreation of one of its restaurants, all housed in a colorful 3D printed case. But when the toy switched on, none other than Pop Goes the Weasel appeared in adorable pixel art, a character that Bonnie, her, Bonnie herself, herself created. So Bonnie's the creator of Pop Goes. Technically. 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 But we're here, back into this. We got a bunch of things to do. There's extras, there's new things. As you know, I did one, two, three, four, five and got the main ending last time. But there's endless, which every time seven, eight, nine gets you a new diary entry. And there's one, two, three, four, five, five different new things to check out. And on top of that, I still never beat this. So, we're gonna come into here and we're gonna try to beat some of these things. We got this. We got this. All right, so I've decided to do the extras challenges first before getting into that, because that's probably gonna be a bitch. So this is called Sticky Floors. Oh, I understand, okay. It's the same game, but for some reason, there's sticky floors, which doesn't really help. I mean, I have to be early for everything because you never know if you're going to hit a sticky floor. Like that. Go! Jesus Christ. Fuck you, fuck you! Oh fuck you, I should have gotten that. Oh fuck you. It turned 45 and my fucking health bar was literally all the fucking way up. I was like, I can make this, I don't need to worry about that then. Like, that's fucking bullshit. Literally a full fucking minute with it sitting there. But okay. Bullshit me game, why don't you? So there's gonna be a lot of instances in this video where I actually got so annoyed I kind of stopped recording and just beat the level by myself because how just difficult these kind of were. So this next one you're gonna see it's gonna come in right to me beating the sticky um, mini game and my game actually crashes as I beat it. So you're gonna see like me run back into the computer and make sure my file was still there. But um, you're going to see that a lot of just jumping from minigame to minigame, you seeing some being beaten and you not seeing some. So there's just a lot of footage just being thrown together. I hope you enjoy. Yay.
All right, there we go. So sticky floor is done. Nice. Now I gotta get the other one. Uh, all right, I got this. Cooked pizza, overcooked pizza. So if you look at the box timer, it's got a timer on the pizza. It's kind of annoying. At this point, I switched over to the Topping Jungle Challenge because the expiring pizzas one was really difficult. And like I said, I've been hopping around through a bunch of these mini games. So now you're going to see the Topping Jungle. I was right there, are you kidding? Oh my god, because of the fucking chicken? I didn't even drop anything. I literally didn't drop anything. It's because I didn't catch the fucking chicken, which was garbage anyways. So we did it, baby! Yeah. I win, motherfucker. I win. I win. I. <sighs> so happy. See how the star's glitching? That means that I got the secret. Notice how none of the other ones are glitching? That means I didn't get the secret. Even though I showed you I got the secret, I have to go back because I technically didn't get the secret. I have to beat everyone to get the secret. Um, this is the one we missed. Sarah the Squirrel. Sarah, Gray Squirrel, 20, female, October 4th, blonde. Uh, special color blue 
Uh, she's the base, uh, fitness instructor. She likes tidiness, dressing up plushies, dislikes spiders, fire, loud noises. Sarah's twin sister of Saffron, the squirrel. They do almost everything together, though they don't always get along. Sarah is girlier than Saffron. She likes cute things and usually calm the quiet, calm and quiet. She joins Pop Goes at the band, Pop Goes Pizzeria, dedicated to helpful people. Okay. And I've read, well, technically I've read, but you guys didn't see these in my last episode, so I kind of want to go back over these. Um, I know I saw that you guys saw this one. This one, I don't think you guys saw. Saffron, the sister of Sarah, older by 13 minutes. She's basically a punk rock tomboy kind of character. Quite loud uh, most of the time. Cares about everyone else in Popko's group, but rowdy attitude uh, can get in the way sometimes. Performing, hates to be told what to do. Um stone ashby hooded crow 22 male april 11th dark blue uh sign holder backup um likes nature snow dislikes poor planning uh though stone spends most of his time holding the sound outside of popco's pizzeria he's actually the most skilled member of the gang he can easily take over any role in the emergency uh stone's name is a pun based on an old-fashioned phrase stone the crows but stone his real name is unlike popco's in menorah Stone is his real name, whereas Popgoes and Menorah aren't their real names. If you go over to Popgoes, his real name is Oliver. If you go over which is next, Nora, her real name is Penelope. So it's very interesting. Menorah is also another interesting character. I like Menorah a lot. Uh, Menorah Quinn, uh, Penelope, female, 28th of December, she's 19, light brown. Uh, she likes Popko's Pizzeria, dislikes robots, pizza, seeing Popko's upset. Menorah is absolutely obsessed with Popko's and frequently visits Popko Pizzeria to see him. She doesn't even like the pizza, her real name is Penny, but she's given herself the nickname Menorah so that her name can... is a pun. Are you... see, uh... Interesting. Just like her idols, the cr crew often gets involved with their antics. Are you a man or a mouse? Interesting. There's a question here that says, are you a man or a mouse? I don't know. It's a something. Oh, and then this is the new one we got. Holly the Robin. Holly Hartwell, European Robin, 24, female, February 2nd, red dark, uh, visitor slash farmer, collecting things, farming, dis dislike spicy foods, horror movies. Holly isn't an official part of the Popco's crew or even a regular visitor. She actually runs an egg farm with her older sister and likes to give gifts to the band members through her relationship with Stone and the Crow. So that's Stone's bitch. Interesting. Insist on not taking too much time from the group, but they love getting her involved in events. And then these are all the diary entries from me being every... Um, all the... The new and improved modes. The harder shit. Ooh. I like that. Hold on. Um, get rid of you. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like that. Is there another one? Hold on. Wait, wait. Is there wasn't there another plushy one? No, not plushy like that, no. Okay. But now that I've done that, I have to go back through all of these get the secret again but actually beat the mini game full through um which shouldn't be too difficult just gotta pay attention oh i think i see him 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 grabbed him okay and there is the secret so right over here Make sure everyone's out of my fucking way. Get out of my way, get out of my Everyone out of my way. Yoink. Okay, and then that gives me BB. And that's another secret. So now I have to beat this to get that secret, I think. Okay, last one. Just gotta grab long legs. Come here, long legs. Come here, long legs. Oh shit. Long legs wants to be directly aligned with that fish. Gotcha, long legs. <laughs> okay. So that <laughs> so that's that one. Um, if I'm on the right track, yes, yeah, so that's glitching. That's glitching. This is not glitching, so I have to do this one again. 
All right, I'm on the track though. I'm on my track. I'm on the track. Oh shit, I gotta remember how to play this one again. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm not dumb. I got it. I'm good. All right, here we go. So now you see the little glitch on the side. You run towards it, you jump in, and then there's a Chica. And then you run into Chica. And then let your body come through the hole. Turn around and go back through the hole yourself. And finish the game. Boink. Come here, pizza. I'm coming for you, pizza. I did it! Oh shit, I didn't even realize I did it that quick. Oh, that's great. Okay. <laughs> Yo, I could have still went for that extra pizza if I needed to. I didn't even... Yo, that was actually played really well. Okay, and then pest control. This one's kind of easy too. Um, I just hold down all the buttons, as far as I know, and she pops... Out? There she is. You see her right there? And there's Mangle, and all I have to do is cut Mangle, and that's the secret. Now I just gotta beat the game, and we're good. Thank you. Fuck me. Oh my god. Woo! I did it. Woo! Okay. And that's that one. One, two, three, four. The last one is Wacker Rabbit. Which this one is weird to get them, as far as I know. I have to wait for one to pop all the way up. Fuck, fuck. And yeah, see how I got him though? But I immediately died. So that's gonna be really difficult. Because the only way he pops up is by waiting for the rabbits. I think. Not exactly true. Shit, see how I lost him though? So what's the what's the cutoff? Damn, where what? And that time he didn't even pop up at all. None of them popped him up. What? Got him. There. Okay. Got him. There we go, baby. All right. 
And that should be all those secret achievements. Secret. The secret secrets. Wait, what? Why is it not flashing? Why is it not flashing? What the fuck? Why is it not flashing? What? I beat it! What? Okay, so I know what I did wrong. I see, I see, I see. Okay, so don't hit that one. And that got me in. So now we're good. As far as I know, that was correct. I had to let him be him. Did it. There you go, bitch! Okay. Yay! Uh, why is that glitching? Anybody notice that glitching? Ah, there we are, and this, false memories, reached the secret ending. This is technically the secret ending. It's not a secret ending, it's a secret diary, but, but we got it. Dear Diary, had a big chat with Marilyn again today. She talked about her mother, and after a few minutes, a part of me started feeling envious about their relationship. But after some reflection, music and food in bed for two hours, I don't think it's because mom isn't around anymore. I think it's because Mary's experiences sound so wildly so similar to Dad's. And apparently Marilyn, Mary Lynn has been able to help Mary through their own chats. It's like therapy for the both of them. But when did I try to take... I when, But when I try to take initiative to talk to my dad about his trauma and whatnot, he pushes me away. I guess it's, I guess it's just too much for him. Or maybe I'm still not old enough. But whatever reason, I feel like I need to be the one to fix him. This was enough for me to finally possess my big idea to Mary Lynn. I told her that I felt a burning res responsibility to finally use everything we have ex access to. The stories, the science, my gift, digging through the keywords online and what our parents have kept secret. Long in, log what we find in a massive document or a blog or something and see what connects any dots. Because when separated all of these Ancidotes and all of this data is just insane, but put together, organized, it may finally make sense. We pr can bring it all together. I think we're not the only ones who can, and we need to not just for the sake of dad, but maybe for everyone. And she got to it straight away. We're calling it the Violet Project. Good night, diary. Unveiling the unseen. Explaining the unexplainable. The Violet Project, proving the unproven, unlocking the unknown. So the next thing we'll get into is the Violet Project. And notice how this is a purple diary, this is a red diary, and this diary sits right here. That's very interesting. Um, I'm gonna hit the main menu quick and show you guys this. Now we have two stars. Look at that. Secret ending, main ending. If we happen to Not that. That. So now, toggle zoom. Oh, that's creepy. Um, I read this one. Bonnie Glade. 22. Oh, so this is Bonnie now. Oh. Okay, and there are a couple more that are locked. Chica, Bonnie, Freddy. Bonnie Glade, 2023. So you can slight if you see you can slightly really read them in the background. So I could read them, but I'm not gonna do that. Bonnie Glade 2024 and 2020. What the fuck? Wait a minute. Why is this in Spanish? Bonnie. Um. Why is this? What the fuck? There we go. So it was just a bug, I guess. 
In 2024, for reasons currently unknown, Bonnie does the 3D printed toy Bonnie mask previously seen in the Attic's chest. The events that follow are explored in Popco's Arcade and Popco's Evergreen. Interesting. So the explanation to why she still wears this mask to this date will be in Popco's Evergreen and Popco's Arcade. And I played Popco's Arcade, and I honestly can't remember... Like, I do. I remember the ending. It was a very weird ending because it, w it was the jump scare of Balloon Boy. But I would have to go back and remember all that. But we're not done here. We got the secret ending, but if you can't tell, we still got 91% to go. We got to get all these challenges done. We got to get all the stickers. There's one ending we're missing. There's an ending we're missing. Wait a minute. We're ending a missing? We're missing an ending. We're ending a missing? How do we... What? How do I, how am I doing that? How am I missing an ending? Um, we're not missing a lot of achievements, though. I'll tell you that much. Be, 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 be. Reach the complete ending. So completing everything is an ending. Interesting. All right. Good to know, good to know. But I'm not, I'm not separating this into another episode. I gotta, I gotta get into this. All of this is done. That is good. Now we hop into the campaign. These are done. I don't think there's any secrets in them. Um, I wouldn't even see how. I did sticky floors. Now we gotta do all of this. Oh god. Oh god. This is gonna be a fucking bitch. Oh god. There we go, baby. Ooh, there we go, baby. There we go, baby. baby. I win. Hey. That beat the coin clock child. Nice. That. Do a little switch up. <laughs> like I said, I kind of jump around a lot in this episode, so at this point I've beaten basically everything except for the make it to 9am or whatever that m little mini game was. So you're about to see me show you all the stickers and all the journals and all the things that I got from beating those mini games. Um, I know you guys didn't see me beat like three of those mini games, but because I sat there for so many days and just kept going, I didn't have the capacity to record anymore. So I just got them done, and here's the results. Oh, that feels good in my titties. That feels real good in my titties. Alrighty, so I have now. There we go. I have now done blind, coin, mini, expiring, sticky floor. This is the last thing I have to do. Um, 
coming to customize. So I have all the stickers, which is great. Look at all these stickers. So you got the main people, the main guys. Gosh, there's not even enough room to put them all up. You got the main guys, and then you got, oh wow, there's a lot of cool new things. You got this row, which is awesome. I didn't even know that was a new character. I love that. You got Scotty over here. Um, and then you got these ones on top. You got like a heart. Oh wow. My favorites, honestly, are gonna be these. Because these... These are just great. This is this is great. So I've basically done everything. I'm waiting. I'm leaving these the, the the diary entries. I do have two here, and obviously the secret ending that I already got. Um. So yeah, we got one, two, three, five. So I'm assuming I get two for each thing. I'm not exactly sure. Not exactly sure. But. Finally to here. Let's do this. No, I was eating it. I was shoving it in my mouth. But I made it to 7.30. Ooh, I made it to 7.30. Ooh, I made it to 7.30. Ooh, I made it to 7.30. And they changed the um time, so it's no longer 7, 8, 9 to get the diaries. It's now 6.45, 7.30, and 8.15. So you don't have to make it all the way to 9. But he, they did give out a tweet and said, if you did make it to 9, you get to brag. Um, I don't think I'll make it to fucking 9. You're bugging.
Oh, and that's 815, baby. That's 815, baby. Don't shut off. That's 815, baby. That's my final. What the heck? Why did it just change everything? What the hell? What the fuck? What the hell? Why are you zooming in? Hello? What are you doing? Oh, shit. God. Oh God. Happy birthday. Wow. And that is the complete ending of my pop goes. I've done it. That's the full end. Um, I made it to 8.15. I'm not gonna try to make it to 9 o'clock because I already know that's gonna be such a bitch. It's not like I feel like I couldn't do it, but it was already so difficult just to try to get to 8.15 and 9.30 or 7.30. I don't know how people made it to 9. That's kind of wild, but they did update it to um obviously like i said the times were different to get the diaries and to beat it so i only had to make it day 15 and not nine which was nice but i guess a little less of a challenge it makes me a wimp but whatever i've done this this is all finished all righty and that, like I said, was everything. That was the complete ending. I don't know what the ending meant or what the Freddy and everything was about, but all of these are done. So I've gotten the secret ending. I've gotten all the main things. Um, I have every sticker. Look at all those sexy stickers. I got all of these. I got all of these. I got all of those. I'm gonna switch back to this one, because why not? I love how they did the three, like, mini games that are kind of like, because Pop Goes, FNAF, and Five Nights at Candies are kind of like the three you think of. So I love that they put all three of those as the actual toy. That's just so cool to me. But I'm going to shut up. Let's get into the diary. Um, we have all the diaries now. That's the secret ending, obviously, uh, which I already read. Um... Let's go to these ones. Dear Diary, it's complicated on my own collection of Freddy Fazbear characters today. I ended up fishing Stone the Crow yesterday, and today I drew Minora the Mouse and wrote up a bio for her. Minora is a big fan of Pop Goes and her, his friends. She also probably has a crush on Pop Goes himself. I can't read that. Remember telling mom about the name Pop Goes the Weasel and how she thought it was really clever, so I gave Minora a nickname like that as well. It comes from the are you a man or a mouse. Mom thought that was clever too. I've been giving mom updates on the characters as I make them, but today I showed dad all six of them for the first time. At first he seemed worried that I was interested in Freddy Fazbear's because he seems to think the character or the place is unlucky or something. It's not like I can visit it, but he did eventually seem quite interested in what I made. He asked questions about what animals they are, their clothes, their favorite colors, things like that. He isn't really interested in my drawings normally, but this was definitely different. Afterwards, I spoke to mom about how he reacted. She said that even though he was injured at Freddy Fazbear's, he actually used to be a huge fan of the characters when he was in America. She said that he probably came up with his own characters like I did, or at least the main art of Freddy, or made art of Freddy. That's actually cool that they put that there, that they said when he lived in America, because Pop Goes, the, 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 in the story, Pop Goes the restaurant is in Britain, it's in the UK. So they kind of got their idea from Freddy's in America, but they're also conjoined. And as she says here, she made Minora herself because she wanted to be a part of it, which is interesting. When he was my age, the last thing she said was that Pop Goes and the gang resonated with him. I'm more keen on no showing Dad my artwork now, at least of these characters. Good night, Diary. The Pop Goes Band. 
Wow. Dear Diary, I feel really bad about something that happened today, and I don't really know what to do about it. It's been about two weeks since I showed Dad Pop Goes in my other characters, and today he showed me that he had worked on his own characters, which he made a, to fit with the others I had made. I really didn't like what he came up with, and I think I reacted poorly and probably hurt his feelings. I want to explain why I didn't like it, but first I need to tell you what the character was. So it was a mole named Morse. Morse the mole. He was a cruel, obvious, he, wow. Obviously with a dark brown color and orange clothing and backpack with goggles. That's interesting, so her dad made the mole. That's very interesting. I think he had a builder's hat on as well. He had tiny legs and a round body. Dad made entire sheet about him with lots of pictures and at least a photograph, which is that he was a genius inventor or something like that. I really don't like Morris the Mole, but more importantly, this was meant to be something I was working on, not my dad. This was my thing that I'm doing for fun, and I never wanted one of my parents to take part by making their own stuff for it. And I know this is really rude, but I think I would have accepted the idea of Morris a bit more if he wasn't so weird. I complained about him to dad after he showed me, which I feel awful about, but I'll go over each thing here. Wow, firstly, Morris the Mole is ugly, he has dirty dusky colors, a weird face and scary smile, giant claws, and he didn't fit with the other characters at all. I know my dad was just trying to make him look funny or goofy, but the drawings he had made look even creepier. Very creepy. Uh, secondly, I hate his name. I spend a lot of time on the names for my characters. Pop Goes the Weasel is named after the nursery rhyme. Stone the Crow is named after the fae Stone the Crows. Saffron is named after a spice with the same color as her fur. I had renamed I had named his characters after a nerd from 200 years ago. These characters are meant to have cool names like Menorah or names like Blake, but Morse? Morse. Um, that's interesting. So did she make all of Pop- is just Pop Goes period in her mind? Cause she said she made Pop Goes the Weasel named after the nursery rhyme. So I wonder if that just means she flat out made Pop Goes. Thirdly, Morse the Mole is too sci-fi. All of my dad's favorite movies are sci-fi and he's obsessed with the technology. And he put too much of this into Morse, which doesn't fit with my other characters who live in a garden or a forest. Dad said that Morse had a backpack with gadgets and tools inside. That kind of stuff wouldn't even exist in the world I made, except maybe a microphone. Four. Speaking of backpacks, Dad took the stuff from my took stuff from my characters. He has a backpack like menorah and scarf like stone, and his stuff is all orange. When I told Dad that each character had a special color and orange was already taken by Menora. Yeah, I can see I can see the fourth one because she did explain like they all had specific colors. Five lastly, it's t it's just too much. Morse has too many things. He has a hat, backpack, scarf, goggles, big claws, scary teeth, and he's just too ugly next to my characters. The thing is, I told Dad how I felt and I feel awful about it because I know he doesn't act, usually draw things or even do anything creative anymore. Part of me wants to say sorry to make artwork of Morse for him or to just add Morse to my cast of characters anyways, but other part of me is still really angry because I originally didn't even want to show him my drawings and as soon as I did he tried to add his own stuff to it. I know I sounded like uh I'm gonna assume she said bitch but this is the only thing I enjoy doing at the moment. I'll probably talk to him tomorrow or ask him for help. I don't want him to be upset I just want him to like what I made without getting involved. Good night diary. Good night diary. Oh, Jesus, you so many diaries. Dear diary, today I ended up being a strange day. 
I went with mom to visit Grandma Rose's grave, which is a graveyard about a half an hour away. I never got to speak to Grandma Rose very much when she was alive, and I wanted to talk to her, but when we got there, something really weird happened. When, I, when we reached the graveyard, I felt it felt like it was really windy, but only on my face or in my head. My coat and hair wasn't moving, but I could hear it. When we reached Grandma's grave, I got quieter and it turned into a voice. It got quieter and turned into a voice. I think it was her talking to me. I was scared and I didn't know what to do, but I pretended it was normal and tried to listen while I was also talking to Mom. And the voice told me some nice things, but I don't remember much of it. She did say that I was. she was proud of me. I don't know how she can be proud of me. She didn't even know me very well. I never talked back to back to grandma, but I nodded and shook my head slightly when she asked questions. I remember one thing she said because it really it was really strange. She said that she had never seen anyone else who could ever hear her or the other dead people in the field. To prove it, she shouted at my mom who was right next to me, who didn't hear a thing. Grandma told me to keep this a secret, at least for now. I don't know why she said that, but it made me feel scared. I'm not stupid. This makes me look cra sound crazy. A voice in a graveyard telling me to keep secrets sounds crazy. I didn't tell mom what happened, but I think she could tell something was wrong because she asked me if I was okay when we were driving home. I said I was fine, but I really wasn't. She usually notices things like that. Now I'm lying in bed thinking about what happened. Most of me is worried about it. I don't know whether something is wrong with my ears or my brain. And if it was real, are ghosts real? Why can't I hear why can I hear grandma but mom can't? Why is it a secret? But other parts of me is excited by it. If ghosts are real, I can hear them. Can I do something about it? Could I listen to other dead people in the graveyard if I tried? I really don't know what to do. I want to go back to the graveyard, but asking mom or dad to take me there wouldn't be re would be really weird. Weird. La la la. I have to wait until they want to go, but that might be ages. It's really late for now. I think I'm just gonna try to get some sleep. Good night, diary. And then the secret. And then this was very weird, cause there is nothing. As far as I- yeah, there's nothing in here about anyone named Mary Lynn, but I had a chat with Mary Lynn, um, so we're still wondering who Mary Lynn is, and they- they created this project, the Violet Project, proving the unprovable. I wonder if Mary Lynn is her- no, because her grandma was Rose. Hmm. So basically, after seeing that, she started talking to Mary Lynn. They said uh, they should find these stories, write blogs about them, blah, blah, blah. And then the Violet Project. But that is kind of this. That is this full game. I finally done it. Um, that was great. I, I definitely personally believe it was a little too fucking difficult in some of the mini games but i understand the mini games being difficult i got three stars that is great a hundred percent three out of three 24 out of 24 10 out of 10 uh all the achievements blah, 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 blah. i got so much i'm so happy uh go back to this go to character bios because now there should be yes all of these are now here oh shit Okay, hold on. So we read this one. This is the young 3D printed blah 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 blah. This is the one we missed 2023 in April of 2023 after being asked to check out the family attic in search of the toolbox. All grown up, Bonnie finds a chest full of knickknacks. Among the clutter is a 3D printed mask resembling Toy Bonnie, a potentially bootlegged plushie of Chica the Chicken and Prax, an immortally old cardboard box with the word My Pop Goes written in the side. Bonnie opens the box to reminisce her 10th birthday. So she got it first on her 10th birthday in 2008. Refound it in 2023, which is where we find it and play it. 
Um, and then she, for some reason, takes the mask in 2024, which, like it says, follows the events of Popko's Evergreen and Popko's Arcade. Popko's Arcade, I don't know if it's another, like, story in Bonnie's head. It could be. Years before Bonnie Glade was even born, an exciting new pizzeria called Freddy Fazbear's Pizza was opened, and its criteria was smiling singing brown bear freddy himself this is the freddy from two please realize that hold on we need to hold on and realize that that is freddy from fnaf 2 meaning this is before the bite of 87 remember that remember that um at the time uh, da -da. and though bonnie glade had a nice memorable birthday at home in 2008 she was really nothing like a celebration at freddy's whoa uh, bonnie you look a little ugly why do you look like that bonnie was given a cooler colored redesign for the first freddy's uh entirely debooting debu alongside an ancestor of freddy's an even older location wait what After initially debooting alongside an ancestor of Freddy in an older location. So once they got debooted from FNAF 2, they remodeled. And this is like their remodeled after version. You know what? I... Whoa, I just got a huge brain thing. What if this... So in FNAF, right? In FNAF, it goes... FNAF 2 and FNAF 1, but in between there we have, and I don't know where it is, we have the, the, the text that says that they tried to reuse the FNAF 2 animatronics first, and that they couldn't, they couldn't reuse them and they had to remake and they came out with the first ones. What if these are the remade before they made the FNAF 1 animatronics? What if these are the FNAF 2 Remakes. Bonnie Glade is having the uh, same first name as the character is not coincidence. However, this is particular irritation of the rabbit was not influenced her father's choice of name. And they all look like FNAF 2, but slightly off. Cheek of the Chicken, a completely new third character was created for the first Freddy's location. A bit of female representation in the Chica... In the chicken fatilling named Chica... Bonnie Glade was given a plushie of the yellow bird by her mother, seen alongside my Popco's toy in the attic chest. Whether it's a legitimate merchandise of Chica or not is a mystery, but one thing is for certain, it's a clutter than the it's cuter than the real thing. Clutter. I can't even. And there's no Foxy. Notice Foxy doesn't exist. Which is weird. Maybe this is just not... Maybe this is complete different timeline or something. Because Foxy doesn't even exist. And he would exist. In FNAF lore, he would exist. But that's awesome. I'm so glad we beat this game. Like I said, this is insane. 100 out of 100. I hope you all enjoyed. I definitely did. This was great. I gotta get to more games to beat. Because I gotta do a joy of creation and into the pit and this anniversary has been crazy i hope you guys enjoyed i know it's after the anniversary but i had to finish these games and then i'll get back into the other things that i've been doing so as always go subscribe to that room look at channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace and goodbye